Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You, much like the rest of the galaxy, are likely using Google to search the internet, but is Google giving you the results that you most appreciate? And how would you know unless, of course, you compare those results to other sets of results? But you're not going to do that, right? It's kind of a pain in the neck to take a, a search term or phrase and, and copy and paste it into another search engine. Nah, forget it. You're just going to stick with one search engine. But what if there was another search engine that delivered better results for the things that you were searching for? Well, there's a uh, website out there that uh, will um, help surface the truth for you. You may think that Google's the best, but it may not be. It may not be. The easiest way to tell is to do a blind search and the website where you can do a blind search is blindsearch.fegis.com or Fegis. <laughs> Let me zoom in. I'm not exactly sure how to say that. Blindsearch.fejus.com. Maybe it's fegus. Anyway, when you're on the blind search site, uh, you just type in in the search box to your keyword. Let's see here. What do we want to search for? Let's search for Seattle wine. And go ahead, we can search the web or we can search for images. Let's just go ahead and search the web. And now I've got uh, a set of results in three columns. There's the first set, there's the second set, and there's the third set. And as I scroll down, I can see you know the list of results all across the board. And then decide for myself, like, you know, of the things that I was looking for, I really believe that this was the best set. So I say, vote for this search engine. And it says, look at that, it was Yahoo. Huh, who knew? I, I thought Yahoo delivered the best set of results. So instead of going to Google or Yahoo, or let me move over here and show you what else they're indexing right here, Bing, you can just uh, do a blind search. Not only are you getting all three results, but you, you might surprise yourself. Uh, I'm not saying that you need to wean yourself off of Google, uh, but I am suggesting that uh, in terms of the things that you search for, Google may not be um, the end-all, be-all. This is the easiest way to do a blind search against those results. You're, you don't care where those results come from, right? I mean, it's not that Google delivers it. I mean, you trust Google to deliver the things that you like uh, in the way that you like them, but you're just all about the results, right? So maybe you would be more willing to switch to Bing or Yahoo instead of using Google, unless, of course, you already have switched, in which cases you can still use it. But I mean, I think the point of this is showing you that Google isn't always the best thing that's out there. So anyway, uh, there you go, blindsearch.fegis.com. That's F-E-J-U-S. I... I I don't know why. I, I really couldn't tell you why. Uh, it says the site was built for uh, fun uh, by Michael Cordahi. Or is it Cordahi? Man, they got some wacky names all over the place, man. I guess he's in Australia, Sydney. They got some weird names down in Sydney. Crazy. But a cool resource nonetheless. Certainly worth trying. If uh, you want to challenge yourself to a blind search, of course, I'd recommend you looking at the web form before, you know, actually searching for anything. Uh, I was not going to go down the image search path, although that I, now when I go to search for images, I may use that because I get a mashup of all three, Google, Yahoo, and Bing, all on one page. Got to like that. Yay, APIs. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you know of uh, similar resources out there on the web that you'd like to uh, recommend. Feel free to do so. And uh, if, if, if you uh, do make a recommendation, um, mm, I will propose a toast to you uh, if I happen to use that recommendation in a future video, some uh, Seattle area wine right here in the glass. And uh, no, I just started drinking it, by the way. Don't want anybody insinuating anything wacky. You're more than welcome to join us in our community of technology enthusiasts. That's geeks.perillo.com. And then, of course, we also have this chat room. Typically talking tech, passing along fantastic resources that sometimes I happen to pick up on. Tweet a few things that I, uh, I don't normally uh, do videos on. That is on my Twitter account, at Chris Perillo, if you're not already following me there. But the chat room uh, is right here, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.